much. Now, we are here on the Notre Dame Day Hotline with Walter Jean Jocks, a second-year law student at Notre Dame who was selected to be one of the eight student members of the Equal Justice Works National Advisory Committee, is also on the Equal Justice Works Board of Directors, a prestigious nonprofit organization committed to mobilizing the next generation of public interest attorneys. Walter, first of all, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so happy to have you. Now, first off, tell us what the Equal Justice Works National Advisory Committee and the Equal Justice Works Board of Directors are all about. So the Equal Justice Works National Advisory Committee, like you said, is comprised of eight law students and also eight law school professionals. And what we do is that we serve as a liaison uh, for our nonprofit um, Equal Justice Works, whether it's spreading the awareness for public interest opportunities, whether it's also um, letting our respective regions, like for instance, I represent the Midwest region, and telling them about the prestigious fellowships um, summer opportunities that Equal Justice Works offers its law students. So we're able to mobilize um, our future public service leaders across the country. Um, the Equal Justice Works Board of Directors is comprised of law school professionals, law students such as myself, also federal judges, prominent uh, law firm partners, and also general counsels for prominent organizations. And we come together to provide critical guidance and support for Equal Justice Works so that we ensure that we fulfill our nation's promise uh, for equal justice for all. Well, that is wonderful. Now, how did you get selected for all of these committees? So actually around this time last year, um, the Director of Public Interest Law at Notre Dame Law School, Caitlin McBride Barbosa, had sent me an email. Um, she said that I was a person that, as soon as I started my first year of law school, made it uh, you know, very apparent that I wanted to become a public interest lawyer. And so she sent me an email saying that there was an opportunity to apply for the um, Equal Justice Works National Advisory Committee. Um, at first, I was blown away, um, completely thankful, just the opportunity just to apply to be on the committee. And I was a bit hesitant to apply because I was like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm just a one L uh, at the time. And I didn't know that I was given an opportunity. But my friends um, and my fellow law students encouraged me to apply for the position. Um, Next thing you know, it um, after I, I after my finals were completed, I found out that I was selected and I was one of the eight law students um, to be on the committee. And from being on the committee, I had the opportunity to attend um, the Equal Justice Works Career Fair and Conference, where I served on a student panel. And at the student panel, I talked about my role at Notre Dame Law School. Um, at the time, I was president of our Black Law Students Association and vice president of Notre Dame Exoneration Project. And I talked about um, the programs and um, the speakers that we bring into Notre Dame to spread awareness of um, the different kind of lawyer um, model that we have at our law school. And I believe during that session, um, the president of Equal Justice Works heard me speak. Um, next, and, uh, during the time, um, towards the end of my first semester, I received an email stating I was nominated to be on the board of directors. And ironically, on my birthday, I found out I was wow. selected to be a, a member of the board of directors for Equal Justice Works. Well, that's incredible. Why is this so important to you? So as a kid from um, Newark, New Jersey, um, I grew up in a disenfranchised neighborhood. Um, I saw people from underserved communities that needed legal help. And they unfortunately did not have the funds to, you know, to pay for um, legal support that they just justly and um, needed. And so to be part of Equal Justice Works for an organization that ensures um, equal justice for all is something that I always wanted to be a part of. Um, I grew up wanting to be uh, a lawyer that served public interest needs and just to be able to be on a committee that spread awareness and to be a board of director that gives opportunity for students and also aspiring lawyers as myself to go into their communities and better serve the needs of these people that come from these disenfranchised underserved communities is something that I'm truly passionate about. Well, that's incredible. Last question. Now, how has Notre Dame Law School really prepared you to be an advocate for social justice and change? Well, Notre Dame Law School has a model of creating a different kind of lawyer. And what we do is that we allow each student to have the opportunity, whether it's on campus, um, taking classes, for instance, the wrongful conviction externship, which offers students um, to participate and represent the wrongfully convicted, or having the opportunity to study in, in London, um, which goes above and beyond in spreading awareness on human rights law. Or for instance, myself, this semester, I participated in our Washington DC externship and I had the privilege of working at the Public Defender Service of DC, which I served underprivileged 
people who, who are indigenous and did not have the means to, you know, um, properly um, be defended in the court of law. And so Notre Dame has that mission of becoming a different kind of lawyer. And this social justice um, terminology is embedded within our curriculum and it's something that truly intrigued me and has constantly inspired me in, in all my endeavors. Well, Walter, first of all, we want to thank you for all of the work that you're doing and will do for social justice in the world today. And thanks for joining us. Thank Let's you so send much. It out now Have a great to, evening. Thank you. You too. We're gonna